Hello and welcome back to Crackpot Sports. Today we're going to talk about the Los Angeles Chargers and the financial problems they're having and all the fun going on with that. Uh, as many of you know or may not know, either way, I was a huge diehard San Diego Charger fan. For over 50 years, they moved to L.A. and just the whole situation behind I said, you know what, I can't support this team. You can't stay loyal to me. I won't stay loyal to you. And I'll get into some, some of that stuff later on in this video. But let's get to the, the, the what I came here to talk about. The fact that Dean Spanos and the Los Angeles Chargers are $353 million in debt. It's a, their family trust. Now, his sister, D. Spanos, you have to be kind of careful with that because it's D and Dean. I don't know if they have a duh Spanos, but anyway, you have the Spanos family. They own the Chargers. I, they own, um, the trust owns 36% and there's four kids and they own 15% each. Well, basically they're just drowning in money. I guess they have charities out there that they've promised $22 million to that they can't pay. They're losing $11 million a year. I guess Dean Spanos is borrowing money from one bank to the other bank to pay for this loan. It's almost like, you know, we've if you've been in that situation where you're financially strapped, you have credit cards, I'm paying this card to pay that card. Um, and his sister has had enough and she wants to force a sale of the team. Now, we all know and we all knew when the Chargers moved to LA, it was more of a money grab than anything else. It wasn't about, oh, we're, we want to be successful. It was like, okay, we want the team to go skyrocket, you know, skyrocket price so we can make a huge for fortune because the, the Spanos family is, they're listed as billionaires, but they're only billionaires on paper because that's what the Chargers are worth. They're worth a lot of money. Now, what's going to happen? Well, the NFL step in and say, okay, look, this clown show has gone on long enough. You need to sell the team. Now, Jeff Bezos of Amazon has been rumored that he wants an NFL team. Now, this guy could pay the Spanos family. Here's $10 billion. Take it, go live your life happy, and it wouldn't put a dent in his fine. I mean, that's just how crazy that guy, you know, how much money that guy has. Will he do it? Will he buy the Chargers? And this brings to a lot of fans have said, uh, the fans that stayed loyal to the team. And I ha again, I have no issue with fans that stayed loyal to the team. It, it was your decision. You wanted to do it. Fine. I have, have zero issues with that whatsoever. The problem is, that they're worried now will span not spanos will if someone buys the spanos family out will they rebrand the name of the team will they say okay the chargers no longer exist we're now called the vipers or whatever whatever name is out there will and now those charger fans said all right i won't stay i i'm only loyal to the name of the team i followed the chargers as a kid and that's what i follow i follow the chargers they said they won't do it so is it a risk say uh, Say Basil does buy the team and says, "Okay, I'm going to change it to the you know, the Vipers." Will those will they have to build a whole new fan base, or is that the only way they can really truly build a fan base in LA is to change the name of the team? Now, a guy like Jeff Bezos, it, he could how, he could lose money for a hundred years and still not put a dent in his his worth. So that's the question: What's going to happen? Will the NFL step in? Are they already stepping in? Because not only the Chargers $353 million in debt, according to his sister, D. Spanos, they owe us, the NFL $650 million for the relocation fee. Now, if they sell the team early, there's a tax, a penalty tax, that would be put on the Chargers. And I think it runs through 2024, that they can't sell the team before then without having to pay a tax, a penalty, because when they moved the team, it, there's not supposed to be look like it's a money money grab, which it was, but it's not supposed to look that way. If the Chargers are forced to sell the team, what's that tax? Will the NFL waive that just to get rid of them? There's so much going on, and it's a lot of fun. And people saying uh, have asked me, if Spanos sold the team, would you go and come home and be a Charger fan again? That's a great question because the main reason. I stopped being a fan of the Chargers because I'm, I'm a loyal person. And when they moved and showed no loyalty, you know, in the whole fight for LA, it was, it was a whole cluster, what the Chargers, you know, front office did. Would I, be, would I come back? And that's a great question. I might. I might come, even if they're still in LA. And now I think if, if someone does buy the Chargers, I'm hoping it's a group from San Diego that there's money down there that they build this and, and they work out something with San Diego and, and bring the team home. I think that's what most people want. But would I, 
I, what I would like to see, if a new owner did come in and kept the team in L.A., I would think the best thing to do is drop L.A. If you want to bring back some Charger fans and build that base back up as quick as possible, drop L.A. Call it the Southern California Chargers. I know people out there think that's stupid to be it hung up on the city name. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, especially when it comes to San Diego. And I think if you called it the SoCal Chargers... People go, okay, I can live with that. Now, some people, they're just not going to do it. It's it's San Diego Chargers or nothing. Would I come back? It's up in the air, but there's a chance. There's a chance, but they'd almost have to take out the Los Angeles name. Yeah, I'm one of those people for me to come back. But that's all I got. Uh, there'll be more coming down the line. I mean, this is, this is going to be like a soap opera. It's going to be a lot of fun if you don't like the Spanos family. Um, let me know in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. No thumbs down. So you, you can do that later. But uh, subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll be back later on. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.